Joe's job was a real stretch for Joe Flanagan. <laughs> Dean up, hang on, this involves math. Electronics and engineering technology. That's a kiss of death for journalists right there. <laughs> That's right. He was actually offered that job at ECPI. And on this day, that job was teaching mechatronics. What is that? Mechatronics, mechatronics awesome. a little combination of mechanical engineering and electrical engineering. I couldn't have told you that had I not been at the college <laughs> sure. to tell you. But wow, what a course. My job was teaching students the basics of programming assembly line automation. Yeah, Joe's job. So class, you're going to learn how to program the four stations here of this assembly, starting with the distributing station, and then the testing station here, robot assembly, and finally, this sorting station. You'll learn it all. But it all starts on the computer where students have to write programs that will tell the robot and assembly line what to do. Programmable logic controllers, ladder logic they call this. 34 commands just for the first station of our assembly line. Okay. And of course, that's going to be dependent upon the work that has to be accomplished. Now you have checked your program in the computer. Now it's time to see if your sequence integrates properly to what you program. Why don't we walk over here and give this a try? It is amazing to watch the workstation come alive when it's programmed. The idea is to transport a chip along this simulated assembly line and deliver it at the other end. Dr. I compares it to the technology that checks your luggage at an airport and moves it along. There are 12 professors who teach this program at ECPI and many success stories. We have several people. Some of them have uh, worked in uh, Motorola, some in Intel. Well, students, obviously, uh, the assembly has stopped. The uh, problem is the sensor did not locate the piece over here. And now this is where the human element comes in. So go over and figure out the way to keep this going again. In this case, my student Sergio solved the problem with his finger. Not a likely solution when it's all about code writing. And then we create a language with that which we call machine language. And of course, higher level languages allow us to use near English words that translates into ones and zeros. So it's absolutely amazing. Both of my students have futures now. I want to apply for the uh, Texas Instrument. They uh, work with uh, microchips, calculators. So what degrees would I need to teach this here at ECPI? No, oh, none, you're good. <laughs> you're natural. <laughs> <laughs> and thank you, Dr. I. Uh, ECPI likes yeah. to brag about their program in mechatronics. Both my students graduate soon. They're bragging, too. They have bright futures. That's an industry that you're guaranteed yeah. a future if you graduate with that degree. I hope they'll keep up with us. Yeah. Thanks, Thanks. Joe.